Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the kitchen and we're gonna be making some Escoviche salmon. You heard me, Escoviche salmon, Jamaican style. Stay tuned. some Escovite salmon so for those of you who have never heard about this one I've never tried it you're gonna love it um, for this recipe I have all the ingredients here and I will list it in the description below uh, you'll need um, your salmon I got the salmon steak you guys came with me to the store so you saw exactly what I um, picked up uh, for the ingredients I have a nice little display here. I did the esco for the escovish um, sauce. What we're gonna be putting on there? I have some shredded carrot, um, onions, bell pepper, definitely of course the Scotch bonnet pepper. Cause we can't leave out that, and some pimento seeds. And then for my herbs, I'm only using um, or Maggie fish seasoning, which is my absolute favorite whenever I'm doing any type of fish dish, period, overall. If I'm using, if I'm doing chicken or whatever I'm doing, Maggie always have a up in the mix. So we're doing um, the, ma the fish seasoning. Why is it that I just had like a brain freeze? <laughs> Hi, all right. So we're doing the Maggie fish seasoning. Um, I have some black pepper and salt. And like I said, I put the, the, the measurements in the description box, okay? Um, some vinegar, and I have a bowl here that I'm gonna be putting um, the, so let me move these out of my way. Put this here. Um, I washed already my salmon um, with lemon juice, and I dried it, like, you have to make sure that your salmon is dry, my hands are clean, that your salmon is dried. Right now, I feel like it can take a little bit more, so let me, Let's get some more paper towel because I'm not trying to get burnt. Let's flip it over. If you are new to my channel, I know a lot of you are new to my channel. Welcome. Um, your comments are so overwhelming. I am so like so grateful. Like I feel so blessed. To have you guys a part of my journey um, a lot of you are here from my favorite family in Jamaica <laughs> Virgo Nation and you guys are just awesome like kind of just make me feel so good so I, I really appreciate you guys tell a friend to tell a friend make sure you hit that notification bell like this video subscribe and share share with all of your friend men because a bug of things going on over my Instagram page as well. So if you are not on my Instagram, I'm going to drop it right down here. You're going to go follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway and you still have time to participate in the giveaway. I have three dishes that um, you can recreate and you'll win $100. Yes. Amazon though. Amazon gift card. Everybody shops on Amazon. Um, so if you want to cook, you want to be a part of it, run over to my Instagram page and look. You'll see the post um, and you'll be able to participate. All right, but well, I don't know why we're talking because that's not why I'm here. I'm here to cook for you. So what I did was I just um, mixed in the, the, the herbs. We're gonna season this salmon real fast. Sprinkle it, sprinkle it all over. In the meantime, my oil is heating. I have vegetable oil. I'm gonna be frying this on medium to high. Let's flip it. Also, I asked you guys to help me to come up with a name and I've been getting a lot of 
um, ideas. My ear flame nation. My hair tea cookies. I actually like that one. I, I think I'm leaning toward that one. Um, I wrote them down actually. I wrote them down so. Yeah, we need a name for calm my people then. So thank you for all your comments. It means so much to me. Like I just have no idea. Like I feel like I found a new family. <laughs> Some of you are asking me to have Brianna come in the videos. So I told her and she was like, yeah. I'm say, you can't come with the handicap style in my girl. You can't come flop me. <laughs> so we're looking forward to that. Tell me what you guys want to see Brianna and I make. Because that should be very interesting. Because, oh girl, boy. No, 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 we don't know. We don't know that one there goes with it. We're going to have fun. All right. So my salmon is nice and seasoned. Nice and seasoned. I kind of made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Remember, salmon cook very quick, so you don't want to overcook it. So, nice and seasoned. Let's head on over to the stove so we can deal with this now. Like I said, the oil is on medium to high. So I have it set at like six right now. It's very important that your oil is at the right temperature because if not, your salmon is gonna stick. I'm not trying to move it just yet. I want it to start getting firm before I flip it. So I just flipped it after about two minutes. And then what you'll do is just repeat the step. If you want, you could do two um, pieces to the pan. I prefer to do one just because I only have three pieces. So it's really up to you what floats your boat. And you'll just repeat the process until all your salmon is nice and fried. I remember it's salmon in us, so it cooked very fast. Cook very, very fast. So. Ready? Okay, so the next step is that we're gonna make the escovy sauce, but we're not gonna be using this um, amount of oil. So give me a moment to do some changes here. One of two things, you can use a different pot with, a, with minimal amount of oil, or you can just pour off the oil depending on your situation that you have at home. All right, and pour off this, this oil, and then you'll see what I'll do, okay? In this case, I'm gonna be pouring off the oil. So I've added a small amount of oil, maybe like a, a tablespoon of oil. And now what we're gonna do is add in our bashment. You don't want the oil to be too hot because we're not trying to deep fry these. We're not, that burn season tastes so bad. So you just keep it on low heat, medium, medium heat. Crazy. 
If only, if only, oh no, could I smell this right now? Guys, the pepper that you're gonna use make a big difference, you hear me? So, and that's sometimes one of my struggles here, getting good pepper. I have a dash of salt, so I'm just gonna rise up the flavor a little bit. Some salt. You can add black pepper if you want, just a little. I like my SOV sauce a little bit crunchy, so I'm not gonna have them in here too, too long. The cook time for this shouldn't be more than three to five minutes. And then now what we're gonna do is go in with the vinegar, not too much vinegar either because I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I feel like it just one different color. Yeah. Little black pepper. And we are done. That's it. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you like what you just saw, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you're already subscribed, thank you. If you're not subscribed as yet, what are you waiting on? Come on, let's, let's grow this family together. Share with your friends, like, subscribe. And remember, I have a giveaway going on on my Instagram, don't forget. So it's not too late to enter. If you're not yet following me, jump on over there. It's at Tea Cooks with Flav. I'll drop it down below. And of course, you know, I have a taste of niceness. Like, I'm not that hungry. So, I'm not going to dig in too much just yet. But, you don't know. Uh, I, I wish that you guys could just smell of one right as right now it is like so good wow and it's super moist super moist mm. Mm. yes tea <laughs> it feels good girl it feels good mm -hmm. See, I, I gotta be like, I have to pretend like I'm a friend and what I want when I'm tasting it. Mm. So good, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!